Give it away, give it away, give it away now. Give it away, give it away, give it away now. Oh, hey guys, Mr. Stashtastic back at you again. Today, I've got, for one, a giveaway. For two, a mustache wax review. Who? The Yeard Project. And today, I'm gonna be doing their mustache wax called Tendency. So, you heard me singing my little song in the beginning. You know what that means? That means you guys are going to get a free tin of wax. All you have to do is wait till the end of this video and I'm going to let you know how to get entered into it. So without further ado, let's get started. First, I would like to thank Mike for giving me this sample so that I can bring it to you guys, review it, let you guys know in on the pros and the cons. Um, you know, these people, they're really great people. It's the Yeard Project. Hashtag the Yeard Project. So these guys are all non-for-profit, and I'm pretty sure they are the only complete non-for-profit mustache and beard grooming company that exists. As far as my research, that's what I know. So these guys put their blood, sweat, and tears into these products, and they get no kickback. The only kickback that they get out of it is the satisfaction knowing that they've helped somebody else. And the charities that they're helping is Crohn's disease and colitis. So I highly recommend you guys check these guys out. I'm going to leave a link in the description below for the website. Check them out. Let them know what's going on. And tell them that you're interested in what they're doing. So let's get into the wax. The first thing that you're going to see when you get into this wax, I'm going to have a picture up right here is the label. It's a sweet purple label. It's got their logo on it. It's got a little bit of information about it, about what they do, about how to get to their website. This is a one ounce tin um, and it does have the ingredients on it. The ingredients, so the ingredients in this, we've got all natural ingredients including jojoba oil, we've got beeswax, we've got coconut oil, we've got refined lanolin with no scent. We've got cloudberry oil, we've got blueberry oil, and we've got essential oils for scent. So, that's everything that's in here. Let's give her a crack open and see what we're looking at. You crack her open, and well, you're greeted with a sweet pick. This pick is awesome. This is one of my favorite picks I've ever seen in a mustache wax tin. It's got their logo on it, it's got their website on it, it, it's like a pearl essence pick. I mean, this thing is cool. If you're into collecting picks, you know, throw this in the collection. It's awesome. And it's functional. So, how I use this. First, like I always do, I do my English style mustache. My English style mustache is kind of hard to hold up. It is 18 inches long. So, I do my English style mustache. I got a picture up. I think this stuff fared pretty well. Let me know your thoughts down below. However, I don't always go with my English style mustache. I throw that up there just so that you guys can see what this stuff is capable of doing. So I normally go with my da daily driver, which is my curls, and this wax performed excellent on my curls. Um, it also performed excellent on my English style, as you can see, but when I started applying this stuff, you know, it was real, real soft, real malleable, pliable. Um, I was really skeptic. I, was, I wasn't sure if it was gonna be able to hold, especially as straight as you saw that that got. Um, however, you know, this stuff does hold. It's, for as soft a wax as this is, uh, you don't need much of a hair dryer to warm this stuff up. You just put some on the pick, rub it in between your fingers, and just apply as you normally would. Um, but with that being said, you know, you can warm it up. Get it nice and nice and super, super soft. Let it glide through the hairs. Man, this stuff goes on clean. It's, it's just an all-around great wax. All right. What does this stuff smell like? Well... It smells good real good I'm kind of getting the a little bit of the berry scent to it but it's not overpowering 
It's not overpowering at all. And, you know, I like that in a mustache wax. I don't want to sit there and smell something that's just going to give me a headache or anything like that. I want something that's going to be nice, clean, crisp, and smell refreshing. This stuff has it. On to the ease of use. The easy use of this product, you know, it really fits. I could use this stuff without having to use a hair dryer. I can take it, I can take my fingernail, I can scrape some out. They give you a pick so you're able to scrape it out even better. And it just applies easily. Slightly warm in your fingers like this. And it goes on smooth. It doesn't clump. It's, it starts out kind of white when it goes on your mustache. But once it adheres to the mustache, that white goes away and it's all natural mustache color as you can see here. For the washout, the washout on this stuff, man, so easy. So, so easy. This stuff, I put it in, I let it go for probably, I think the longest I had it in was four days. And that's, you know, four showers, four nights of sleep, you just wear and tear. And it performed the whole time. I maybe only had to tweak it occasionally and that was just because I got it caught on something. But other than that, you know, this stuff, it's gonna hold. It really, really is gonna hold. Um, and with the washout, you would think with the hold that this stuff has, it would be a little bit harder to wash out. Well, it's not. It only took me one wash to get this stuff out. Um, and if you guys, I'm sure some of you guys know, with the uh, stiffer waxes and stuff, it's almost impossible to use just one wash to get that stuff out. So, you know, I give it to Mike and the guys over at the Yard Project um, an A plus on that. This stuff, you know, this stuff, it, it's great for the washout. Um, yeah, what else, what else can I say about it? So, who would I recommend this for? I would recommend this for somebody who has a small to medium length mustache and the reason why is because this stuff performs the best at maybe six inches tip to tip on the mustache however it did perform really really well for me at 18 inches tip to tip but i feel that this stuff is you can do a lot more stuff with this with a slightly smaller mustache you're able to tweak it exactly how you want it. You're able to get those bends and curves in there. If you're into freestyling, this stuff's gonna help you out. Um, it's also gonna be for the people who want a light scent on the mustache. It's gonna be for those people who want an easy clean out process. It's gonna be for those people who don't want to hassle with having a super, super stiff, tacky mustache wax. Now this stuff is tacky, but it does lose its tack over the course of maybe eight to 10 hours. Um, so as I went for four days, my second day, there was no tack to it at all. It was just super smooth. Um, I wasn't getting like dog or cat hair stuck to it like I do with some of the other waxes. But yeah, I mean, this stuff, if that's what you're into, this stuff is gonna work. Now with that being said, in the heat, this stuff might have a tendency to melt slightly. And the only reason why it would melt slightly is because it's so soft. Um, and it's cold here where I'm at now, and I don't really have a way to test that. But I'm pretty sure that if it's a super, super hot day, you're, you might have a little bit of problems if you're going with an English style mustache and you have something comparable to the length of mine. It might start to droop on you a little bit. However, I don't see that happening if you're just rolling with baby bars or, you know, a handlebar of, of any kind, um, maybe even the dally. Um, yeah, I think you guys are going to be great. So if I ran out of this stuff today, would I go buy it again? Yes. The reason being is these guys Fabulous. They came up with a product. They put their blood, sweat, and tears into this product. They work hard. They know what they're doing, and it's all for a good cause. Every single penny that you guys put towards these products 
goes to fight Crohn's disease and colitis. Also, this stuff is going to hold in your mustache. This stuff is going to be nice. It's going to look good. You're going to walk down the street with confidence knowing that this stuff is going to hold your mustache. And pff, that's what we all like to do, right? We're confident in each other. We like to have our mustaches looking great. So, I think you guys should hop on the bandwagon, go on down in the link below, click it, and get yourself some tendency from the Eard Project. Now, with all that being said, I was singing my little song at the beginning of this video. Well, one of you lucky guys is going to get a 10. Because I've got two, and I only need one. So, what I'm going to have you guys do is go in the comments below. Type in hashtag the Yeard Project. I will have that described down below. So, it's not going to take you guys hardly anything. You could even go there, copy and paste it, stick it in the comments, and maybe three, four, I don't know, month, month and a half, one of you guys going to get some of this. So, with all of that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, Give me a big thumbs up. If you hated it for any reason, give me a big thumbs down. Let me know why in the comments below because your feedback is important to me. And until next time, you guys have a good one.